One other thing I wanted to demonstrate, hopefully I can get to work with that internet connection. So this, I built this plugin a little while back called Deep Profile. And let's see if we pull up the source. <coughs> All right, but what it allows you to do is you, you inject this plugin into a page. So you, what you end up having is you have a page, you have jQuery, you have the profile of the plugin. And it overwrites every single call, that, every single method that jQuery has. And then monitors how long each of those methods take to run. So that way, so you, you can take your page, you can run it, um, you can click around, you know, trigger some click events, you know, what have you. And then you run, uh, display profile, so it adds a new method display profile. So it works. And so you run it, and then it asks. So down at the end, it has a breakdown, let me explain it. It has, it has a breakdown of every single method call that was done, every single selector, every single event that was run, <coughs> and it tells you exactly how much time it took. So in this case, they, they do jQuery, you know, and they search for .js hot. And on this, uh, for, so in this case, GitHub, it, it takes up 3.5% of all of your startup time, uh, and the initial load. And the entire startup time is 115 milliseconds. So using this, you can start to get a better picture of what time is being spent on your page. And you can start, you know, you know, you know where the, op the optimization needs to go. And you can see here, so the majority of the time, 13.3% of the time, is being spent loading this pl uh, plugin in Facebook. Uh, so that's the case where uh, they probably, you know, if, if they're really concerned about, I guess, 15 milliseconds performance, you know, they can dig into Facebook and start to make uh, improvements there. But then again, this, it allows them to make all sorts of, gives you all sorts of knowledge about what's going on. Oh, there, here we go. Here's some uh, events that occurred. And they're not only they're all two milliseconds, so it's not that bad. But again, you, you can start to see, you know, how much time is being spent on individual event calls, which can be uh, really, really useful. So I have that. It's uh, uh, up on my up on the wall. You can search for a uh, jQuery profile. I think it's the first one. Um, so yeah, I think, I think we're out of time. So, but uh, yeah, uh, any questions? Really? Yeah. Have you thought about support for like a conditional? chaining operation, like I want to continue this chain if some other thing is true, otherwise I don't want to do it. Yeah, um, we looked at that a while back. I think there was actually a plugin that had that, that allowed you to write like if and else and a couple other ones. Uh, the, the problem is though is that the exact uh, keywords that you can use are limited by JavaScript. Like you can't have like dot if since that if is a really like, you see the book of these words that are Weird. Is, I don't know. It, we looked at it a while back, and it was really a pretty hard.